Orbital frontal cortex, or OFC, is the area of the frontal lobe directly above the eyes. The OFC is associated with inhibiting inappropriate social behaviors. It's highly involved in decision making because it helps to establish value and reward. The OFC helps us to keep track of physiological arousal, such as the sensation of our mouth watering. The OFC helps to consider past experiences and establish a likelihood of reward weighing the costs and benefits. The OFC helps us assign subjective and emotional value to our experiences to help inhibit unpleasant outcomes and toward greater reward. Those of us who suffer from obsessions or compulsions, such as hoarding or hand washing, can be subject to an overactive orbital frontal cortex. The book Brain Lock describes how the OFC can get stuck in a fixed worry circuit with part of the habit center of the brain called the caudate. The caudate helps us regulate automatic thoughts and modulate the orbital frontal cortex. Whether we face obsessions, compulsions, or simply bad habits, we can form new habits by continually relabeling and reattributing our deceptive brain messages. We do not have to be defined by our obsessions, compulsions, or bad habits. Mindfully refocusing and revaluing our deceptive brain messages can help us overcome them. One of the most famous examples of a person with damage to the orbital frontal cortex was Phineas Gage. He was a railroad foreman in 1848 when an accidental explosion sent an iron rod through his skull, severely damaging his frontal lobe and OFC. Though he survived the accident, afterward his friends said that he was no longer Gage. Having been described as hardworking and responsible before the accident, afterward he was described as irreverent, impatient, and indulging. Despite his accident, Gage did not give up. He decided to move to Chile in 1852 to be a stagecoach driver. His dedication helped him heal and work long days over long distances. Whatever pain, compulsion, or bad habits we face, through habitual, mindful attention toward loving relationships, we can help one another find more reward and value in life.